Brown. He's had a pretty good start to his career, but he's had some inconsistency issues. How much does it help to have someone like you come in there and help show him the ropes? Yeah, it's been in the league for seven, eight years. Sure. I mean, I can't speak to anything in the past, but um, I'm looking forward to playing with Derek and. Um, you know, hopefully I can teach him some things. He can teach me some things, and we'll have some really good chemistry out there. I think I think chemistry is important important all across the board. Um, so it's it's going to be a fun year. Hey, Matt, uh, Will, Fox, Charlotte. Uh, what are you able to learn in OTAs at a new team? What is, what's important for guys like this and a team that's trying to get better? You know, it's had two five win seasons. What what can they take away from OTAs? Ooh, you know, again, I. I haven't been here, so I don't want to speak to anything in the past. I think right now everyone's just trying to do their 111th. Uh, every year, you know, it's going to be the third year with Coach Snow, but um, there's still something to be said about coming in and remastering the playbook. And so right now we're all kind of in the midst of that and just building that team chemistry again because, um, you know, I'm a big believer that we all have to do our 111th. And so personally, it's just about me coming into a new scheme, doing my job. Good to meet you. Do you have any uh, great college Bill Snow or Matt Rule stories that you could impart on this? Um, caught me on the spot here. I don't at the moment, but maybe at a, maybe at a later time. Please jump in and say it if you come to mind. I got you. But, um, Ace, what's it been like so far for you, um, you know, coming to Charlotte? I know you only been here briefly, but what's, it, what's the process been like for you? How's it been? Well, it's been great. I mean, Charlotte's an incredible town. Um, DC was great. I loved my time there. Uh, I'm looking forward to turning the page and starting here. Um, the team has been the team has been great. I mean, everyone's been super welcoming, and you know, I, I appreciate that. My family and I are in the transition down here still. Um, Charlotte's a great town. It's nice having the stadium where our facility is. We were. In, you know, an hour and a half away at times with traffic in DC. So it's nice to be here, be present every day in the same locker room we'll, we'll play games out of. Um, but the other than that, it's just been like, you know, show up and work, show up and, you know, treat. I'm trying to treat myself like a rookie at, the t at this time. Like I've got a new team, new facility, new playbook, new everything. And so I'm just trying to start from, from, from scratch. With the athletic welcome. Thank you. Wondered if you noticed any changes in rule. Uh, now, you know, now he's coaching the NFL since the last time you were around him as a player. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone changes and develops and grows and stuff like that. Um, I won't get into the the details of how any one person develops and grows, but yeah, there's there's been some changes there, and you know, I think I think positive. Anything that kind of like. You know that you kind of shook your head, or just that really struck you your first couple months here. Um, in the changes department, no. I mean, I think, I think like um, being away for almost seven years, um, the competitiveness that, that that's there is still still very much so there. And so, you know, being thrust back into into that style of environment, you know, his style of competitiveness has been has been fun. It's been great. No, I didn't. I didn't get any food recommendations from Ron. Uh, we're looking forward to playing them week one of the preseason, getting back with those guys. But uh, no, no food recommendations. I've eaten at a, you know a few good spots though. Do you, do you feel like you're kind of close to the spot of when you were at your best a couple of years ago, when you were getting a lot of pressure inside that kind of thing? I know there have been injuries, but do you sort of feel like yourself again now? Yeah, I do. I think last year I went into the season too heavy, and you know, there were some injuries in training camp, and um, you know, I take full responsibility for all that. And so, putting it back on myself, I'm in control of what the season's going to look like for me, and I feel like I'm on par to to you know still play some really great ball ahead of me, hopefully. There's been a lot of talk today, for whatever reason, about people's weight, yours, Brian's, Deontay, whoever. But how difficult is it for a player to find the right weight and maintain it? Over for a course of like seven, eight years? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, every year I've had, uh, people have different philosophies. Every year as you get older, your body kind of wears down as your mind, you know, your body goes down, your mind kind of goes up. And so 
some people say play a little lighter as you get older, as your body starts to maybe lose a step. Um, I think it's just whatever you feel best movement-wise, uh, durability-wise. I think every player is going to be, be different. I kind of think I've found my sweet spot. And so um, right now it's just about achieving and maintaining that spot. Um, yeah, I think I like playing around in that 300 range. Um, I think that's, that's, you know, a good blend. Matt, Mike Solar, Key Spectre, is one of the back court of the town. Uh, as you. you, you talked about you're kind of making yourself think like a rookie again mm -hmm. as you're in a new situation. How does an eight year vet, nine year vet, however, go about doing that? How do you convince yourself that you're a rookie and, you know, and, and go through the process like you did in your rookie year? Personally, my approach to it just so far has been just um, kind of ears open, mouth shut, just a lot of the things that, you know, we say be seen, not heard as a rookie. That's kind of where I've been in these, uh, in these first few weeks. And so I'm just trying to take everything in, take everything in stride and just adapt. Um, coming from a completely different town system scheme and everything like that, it, you know, it can be, it can be a lot sensory overload and whatnot. So I've just been trying to focus one task at a time, one play at a time, one assignment at a time, one install at a time, whatever it is. And I think that's probably how I did it as a rookie, if I'm remembering correctly. And that's how I'm approaching it now. Is it easy to muzzle or is it tough to muzzle? Because you've seen so much and, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's not it's not no, it's easy right now. There's plenty of time ahead of us where you know we can we can be vocal and you know stuff like that. Right now, this is a big learning experience for me, so it's it's been easy. Anything else for Matt? Hey, Matt anybody feels no Matt Rule story? Nothing came back to me. About it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I'll get back to you with him. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Good to meet you all. Appreciate it.